that last number. Uh, the handstand was by Marine Sergeant Johnson. The barrel roll was done by Lieutenant J.G. Bessie Sue Ellie May Dogger. The solo featuring the hitch kick and the scissors, those are the names of the steps, was done by Ensign Cora McRae. And the pinwheel, you know, was done by Stu Pot. I mean, George Watts. George Watts. Carpenters made third class. Second class. Second class. The multiple revolutions and, incidentally, the dance steps were done by Antonelli Forbo. And now, if you all just pay attention a little while longer, we've got an excellent show of strength by our very own Sergeant Thomas Hassinger. That a boy, must Phyllis, who turned out the lights? Hey, whoa, 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 I got the truck lights on, that's something. Well, the weightlifting act just got started. Good. What I don't understand is how someone ain't got the artistic imagination to put fuel in a generator so a show can be a success, especially when they're on the committee. You're on the committee too, why didn't you tell us it wasn't gassed up? I'm acting in a show and I'm a stage manager and producer. I can't figure out everything, can I? Sure you can, just put your two hands together. Look, jerk, I got a production on my hands. How's the way that he's not going? I can't tell. I don't hear anybody clapping. No, but he's clapping and he's good. You should be able to figure that out. Put your two heads together. Hey, you're the one with the two heads. Ah. Oh. Pardon me. You know where I can find Miss Lily Fulbush? She's on stage. She's the MC. You can't talk to her right now. Want me to bring the flowers to her? I prefer to give them to her myself. Are you Mr. Debeck? Yes, I am. In fact, do me a favor, will you? Don't try to see her tonight. Why? We got her in a good mood tonight, and I don't want anything to upset her again. She has been upset? Upset. She asked for a transfer to another island. And the day before yesterday, she busted out crying in the middle of rehearsal. So she couldn't go on with the show. And she almost didn't either until Captain Brackett told her how important it was to the base. <laughs> so do us all a favor, will you? Don't try to see her tonight. Why is she asked for a transfer? Don't tell her I told you. Nobody's supposed to know. <coughs> I will see her tonight. Stay out of sight until after the show. I'll give her the flowers. <coughs> Phyllis! Phyllis! Lieutenant Cable? Shh. Lieutenant Cable's supposed to be a little hot for but on the other side of the base. Have you not been well? I'm fine now. The fever's gone. <coughs> they couldn't keep me in that damn place any longer. <coughs> I'm looking for a guy named Phyllis. Do you know him? A great guy for getting boats. I could use a boat right now. I've got to get to my island. What island? The damned island with the two volcanoes on it. You ever been over there? Why, well, yes, I, I used to go over there every day before this damn malaria stopped me. Have you ever gone over there early in the morning with the warm rain painting across your face? Just beginning to see her again like last night. What are you doing here? She come on big white boat. Bigger than North belongs to Jacques Pisperi. He wants to marry you the yacht. Very rich. He brought white like you. See that plant that, that drinks? You, you can't let her marry a man like that. Oh, okay, then you marry her. Take toi. Il est malade. Tu comprends? Lieutenant Cable, you are not well. Let me take you back to the hospital. Oh, you, you're deciding to care now. Coming from the man who says he cares about no one. Not Germans, Japs, Americans, anybody. Why choose me to care about? I am sorry, Lieutenant. Good day. Lieutenant, you like Liat? You marry Liat. You have good life here. I am very rich. I saved six hundred dollars before war. <laughs> Since war go on, I make two thousand. Go on, I make me make more. So, grass skirt, horse to bracelet, real human head. Give all the money to you and Liat. You don't have to work. I work for you. All day long, you and Liat be together. Swim through sea, walk through woods, sing, dance, talk, happy. Don't think about the Delia girl. It is no good. We talk about beautiful things. Love all day long. You like me? Goodbye. Thank you.
this. It's a man's watch, but it's a nice one. It's kind of a good luck charm. It belonged to my grandfather. My dad carried it all throughout the last war. Uh, is it if you beautiful? First time I see you, I knew you're a good man for Liat. She could go for you, not with special needs. <laughs>
away from you. There is no place. I came so close. So close.
plate on the message. It sounded like some sort of code. That was not a code, sir. The sound you just heard was the contraction of the tin roof. The metal cooling down at night. Oh. Sir, if you'd like to get back to your office, I'll let you know. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to stay right here. I don't want to add to your many problems. Yes, sir. I just feel they should have sent us a message by now, that's all. They've had enough time to establish a communication point and send us a message. You understand what I mean? Captain Brackett, what is it? It's about what is it, Bill? I'm very busy. It's about this CB out here, Sir Billis. Commander Perkins over at Operations estimates that his act this morning cost the Navy over $600,000. 600000 By God, I'll true that guy's... Send him in here! Yes, sir. Let me know the moment you get any word, no matter what I'm doing, you just break right in. You understand me? Yes, sir. Get in there. Captain Brackett, this is Lieutenant Buzz Adams who flew the mission. Adams? Captain. One man like you in a uniform is like a rotten apple on a barrel. Because what did it feel like sitting out there all day in the middle of Empress Augustus Bay with the whole goddamn Navy Air Force trying to rescue you? And how the hell do you fall on the PBY anyhow? Well, sir, the Jap anti-aircraft busted a hole in the side of the plane and I got sucked out. So I'm to understand that you deliberately hid in the baggage compartment of a plane that you knew was taking off on a very dangerous mission. You had the sand enough to do that, all right? The moment an anti-aircraft gun hit that sucker, you, your parachute, and that little rubber boat up in the fly right out. But I think you jumped. Which one you do, Billis? Well, well, sir, it was sort of half and half if you get the picture. This is the most humiliating thing that's ever happened to me. Adams, about when did you discover you was on board? Well, we were out about an hour. It's so dark, I know. Well, we were flying across Marie Louise. The Jap anti-aircraft spots, though. They made that hit. That's when Luther, or this fellow here, that's when he left the ship. I just circled once. I timed up to drop him a rubber boat. Some New Zealanders in P-40 spotted him, though. He kept circling around him in the air while I flew across the island, ran alongside the sub, and then jumped the Frenchman off. You would have thought this guy was a $90 million cruiser there out to protect. There must have been 55, 60 planes. 62. That's far off. Harbison over here tells me this whole thing cost me maybe over $600,000. $600,000? What the hell are you so happy about? Oh, nothing, sir. I was just thinking about my uncle. He used to tell my old man he'd never be worth a dime. Him and his slot machines, huh? What makes a man do a thing like this? Well, a sir's got to be on a move, you know? Sometimes you feel held down, and if you need to take a trip, get a few souvenirs, you gotta hold it in sometimes. Get the picture? How did you even know about it? Well, I didn't know about it exactly, sir, until I heard Lieutenant Cape and Matt DeBeck fellow talking about it. I knew right away that something was happening in the air. A project. That's what I like, sir. Projects, don't you? Billis, you've broken every regulation in the book, and by God, Captain Bracken and I are going to throw it at you. Sir, my virgin? My co pilot watched this whole thing, you know, and he thinks that this fellow that is down there in the rubber boat with all of those um, jabs after him caused a kind of diversion reaction. He thinks that um, while all the jabs were busy shooting at him and at Bittis, um, on the other side of the island, our our cell was able to scoop into that little cove and deposit John the Frenchman off. What the hell do you want me to do? Give him a bronze star? Well. I don't want a bronze star, sir, but I would like a little more freedom. <laughs> a little more room to swing around, you know what I mean? Get the picture? Get out of here! Get the hell out of here! Yes, sir! <laughs> well, old Iron Belly, what would you have done? I'd have thrown him in the brig, and I will too if I get the ghost of a chance. And so we are here. This is our first chance to send news to you. We have made contact with former friends of mine. We have set up quarters in a mango tree. No room but that lovely view. First, the weather. Rain clouds over Bukenville, the treasuries, Chosel, and New Georgia. We expect rain in this region from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Oh, pardon? Oh, my friend Joe corrects me. 900 to 1400. And now our military expert, Joe. All you Navy, Marine, and Army pilots right there. <coughs> Service craft, 1,900 troops, barges headed down toward the bottleneck. Speed about 11 knots. 
Auto pass by Benica at about 20 hundred tonight, escorted by heavy warships. There ought to be some way to knock them off. As, the air, as for aircrafts, there's little indication of activity at the moment. But 22 bombers, Bettys, went by at 0600 headed southwest. There was a fighter escort, not heavy. They should reach. Oh boy, where are you going? You're gonna be going out waves tonight. Waves. <coughs> Sit down, Bill. You know what I like? Projects, don't you? Ceiling today are limited. 33 fighters, zeros, have flown in over Bougainville. Their course approximately 23 degrees. Undoubtedly, heavy bombers will follow. Got that? Alright, gentlemen, here's the hot tip for today. Joe and the Frenchman have spotted 20 surface craft heading for Viva La Bella. Now, Christmas is only one week away. Let's give those two characters a beautiful sight of no ships coming back. Okay, with me, let's go. three days ago. I will never know a final man. I wish he could have told you the good news. The Japanese are pulling out and there is great confusion. Our guess is that the Japs will try to evacuate troops from K. Esperance tonight. You may not hear from us for several days. We must move again. Two planes are overhead. They are looking for us. We think. We believe that. What? What? Goodbye. Is that all? No, oh, come on, can't you get him back? No, sir, they're cut off. Poor Joe. Poor little Joe King. Captain Brockett, do you think there's a chance I'll ever see Emil Debeck again? And if you don't think so, would you tell me? Of course there's a chance, sir. There's always a chance. He didn't even tell me he was going. How could he? Now, don't blame Emil Debeck. He's a, he's a great guy. He's a, he's a wonderful guy. Uh-huh. He's got a chance, hasn't he, Bill? Of course.
woman you had for her color. What a pitiful, what a pinhead I was. Come back so I can tell you. Oh my God, don't die until I can tell you. All that matters is just you and I, me together, just together, the way we wanted to the night we first met. Remember? Remember? Some enchanted evening when you find your true love, when you feel him call you. Sign planes. CB's on board on carrier six. All marines. 
experience the board LCTs. Any questions? Move out.